A record crowd at Washington Grizzly Stadium witnessed the game between two very closely matched teams. Four total yards separated the Grizzlies and the Cats, but the Bobcats made enough plays and enough field goals to get the nine-point win. Probably the biggest thing is that they shut down our production on, on first and ten, forced us into second and long, and, and then eventually some third and longs. And, you know, we did the same to them, and they, they converted some. Give credit to them. They're talented, man. There's a reason they're number two in the nation. Um, the, our defense played a great game. I don't There's tough a defense as uh, uh, Montana State's going to see. So, uh, you know, offensively, we, we just didn't do the things we need to do to win this game. And, and they did, and that's what it comes down to. There's not a lot, a difference between, in our situation, between winning and losing. Every game we've lost, we've been up, and we haven't been blown out. Just working in the off season, with that hungry taste in your mouth, uh, knowing that you don't want this feeling again, so you can get back out there, win games, finish games, and play Montana football like we can. The Bobcats move on to the playoffs and claim another Big Sky championship for the Grizzlies. A 5-6 and six record marks their first losing season since 1985. But they bring back almost every starter for next year, which the team says begins tomorrow. Reporting in Washington Grizzly Stadium, I'm Derek Berkeley, MTN Sports.